Today I represent, of course, the task force uh, uh, of Yemen on uh, cholera task force. Before, before, of course, working on, uh, on specific and OCD, uh, I thought it's the task force actually right, to highlight the current situation in, uh, in Yemen. As you can see in the screen, actually, this is the uh, situation from the 1st of January till uh, uh, the 26th of May. The uh, 147 districts have been identified as a priority. Uh, however, 296 out of 333 districts uh, across uh, the country are still, of course, reporting uh, uh, cases as of today. Challenge, of course, has been already highlighted this morning, and uh, definitely there is uh, agreement on uh, strengthening, of course, the, the lab, the confirmation, uh, and, of course, the joint as well work that the health and WASH rapid response team are currently uh, conducting. When it comes to, of course, health and wash response, uh, an integrated cholera strategic plan was, uh, uh, was actually developed uh, as well in 2018. It was revised in, uh, in 2019, in particular highlighting, of course, the role of the Emergency Operation Center, that there are 27 across, uh, across the country, plus one at the central level, that uh, in particular on the uh, um, Ministry of uh, Water sector. The country has uh, 333, so each district is covered by uh, one uh, uh, rapid, uh, um, rapid response team, of course, for health, and uh, double in terms of number of WASH rapid response team. As I highlighted this morning, of course, there is a current revision of, of the response, uh, taking, of course, into consideration the meeting was held at the end of last year, in Amman, October 2018, and try, of course, to integrate, first of all, the work of the WASH and health, rapid response team, and of course improve as well the uh, reporting at the central level. When it comes to case management, uh, there are 230 DTC that was uh, open, and uh, as well as uh, uh, more than 1,000 uh, oral rehabilitation uh, centers that were um, open. Both of them, of course, supported by uh, multiple partners, uh, with a bigger number, of course, supported directly by uh, WHO and, uh, and UNICEF. The, the plan, of course, for OCV uh, was as well in line with developing a clear strategy for the WASH response. The, uh, the reduction of force, a number of cases uh, that we are starting to see in the, at least in the last uh, three to four weeks are uh, definitely linked with some of the measures that were put in place, including, of course, the uh, quick impact project that was developed on, uh, with the idea, of course, of repair damaged pipes, network, and, and as well as the dislodging. Sanitation, of course, remain one of the uh, major issues, of course, due to the fact that the country still have a very old uh, uh, system, uh, sewage system, uh, both sewage, sorry, and water system. Capacity building, of course, are in, in place. Uh, whoever is still uh, struggling, of course, to identify the right partners, they can, of course, support the scale up of the activities. When it comes to the long term, of course, as I mentioned before, the, U, the uh, improving infrastructure remain the major challenges for, uh, for Yemen. Of course, we like a uh, table. So when we come to 2018, this was the result of the uh, OCV campaign conducted actually in three governorate. Uh, I would like you to focus actually in, uh, in the middle one, in Al Odeida, where you could see the coverage uh, it's uh, quite low, in particular on the round uh, uh, one. Due to, of course, the fact that uh, was identified was one of the high priority district, but this was as well affected by the escalation of the, the current conflict. 2019 as well, uh, targeting were mainly one governorate in, uh, in the northern part of the country, Amanatalassima, where government that, uh, the governorate sorry, that registered the highest number of cases in the northern part of the country and three governorate in, uh, in the southern part. You can see, we still talk, of course, about administrative coverage uh, on the first doses, but it's still very uh, promising. And of course, the plan for the second round is actually between the end of uh, this month, hopefully, and uh, beginning of July, showing as well a different commitment in country, of course, in terms of uh, uh, vaccination campaign took a long time, actually, in 2018 as well, to develop the campaign and, of course, promoting the, the, the campaign itself. 
this is just to give you an idea of where um, the target uh, district and governorate uh, they were targeted in uh, in 2018. Of course, if you look into uh, the one on the on the top down, sorry, it's Aldale. You can start to see a very high number of ca of cases, an increased number of cases. Of course, that is the area where currently the, the escalation of, of the conflict is uh, showing the highest uh, level in, uh, in 2019. The last, of course, uh, on the way forward, and in particular on the GTFCC support, of course, on the OCV, uh, the expectation of receiving, of course, the additional doses to, for the completion of uh, the uh, second round, and, of course, the support on conducting the uh, new risk assessment for uh, 2019-2020. Uh, the, the point, of course, of supporting the tra training package, and it was very interesting to see today many of development through the, the working group, in particular when it comes to uh, IPC and case management, and of course all the components of uh, um, lab and testing that remain one of the major challenges, of course, in, uh, in Yemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.